Hello, welcome to the fourth module of this course. In this module, we will be looking at how to plan a research. By the end of this module, you should be able to, one, prepare the basic outline, two, know how to take notes, and three, identify what to take notes about. Creating a comprehensive strategy to steer your research, reading and writing is crucial. This task might pose challenges initially, especially when you are still grappling with unfamiliar subject matter. However, once you have delved into your preliminary reading, it's important to engage in some level of planning. The main focus should be on charting the course you intend to take. Constructing a plan also proves valuable in shaping the core theme of your essay. This process aids in effectively arranging your materials and evidence. Notably, well-crafted essays don't materialize by chance. They demand sufficient groundwork, diligent effort, well-structured organization, and a clear and coherent presentation. Above all, successful essay composition necessitates a willingness to critically analyze pertinent matters. Planning the research. It is essential to formulate some sort of overall plan with which to guide your research, reading, and writing. This may prove to be a little difficult in the early stages when the subject matter is still new to you. Once you have begun your preliminary reading, however, some planning should be done. The emphasis should be on mapping out the direction in which you want to go. A plan is also useful in helping you to formulate a central theme for your essay. This will assist you to marshal out material or evidence in an effective manner. Good essays do not just happen. They require adequate preparation, hard work, sound organization, and clarity of exposition. Above all, essay writing requires a willingness to think critically about the relevant issues. Developing a comprehensive strategy is crucial to steer your research, reading, and writing endeavors. Initially, this task can be somewhat challenging, particularly when you are still acquainting yourself with the subject matter. However, as you initiate your preliminary reading, it becomes necessary to engage in some level of planning. The primary focus should involve charting the course you intend to pursue. Formulating a plan also proves invaluable in shaping the central theme of your essay. This process aids in effectively organizing your materials and evidence. Notably, well-crafted essays are not products of chance. They demand sufficient groundwork, diligent effort, a well-structured arrangement, and a clear and coherent presentation. Above all, successful essay writing necessitates a readiness to critically analyze the pertinent issue at hand. I hope you are taking some notes. In this unit, we'll be discussing the basic outline for research. Crafting a fundamental outline serves as your initial endeavor to structure the concepts within your paper. This outline assists in honing your research focus and contemplating the sequence of your ideas. To develop a basic outline, follow these steps. Begin by formulating your initial thesis statement. Don't be concerned with creating a beautiful, eloquent, or strongly memorable thesis just yet. A straightforward response to your question is sufficient to initiate the basic outline. Record all the reasons arguments, effects, or solutions, depending on the papers and type that you possess to address your question and bolster your thesis. Rely on your own intellectual capacity rather than consulting external sources. Examine your list and arrange the ideas. Some 
may be amalgamated into larger concepts, while others might reiterate in varying terms. You might also decide to eliminate certain ideas. The concepts that remain will constitute the primary fo focal points of your paper. These notions will form the sections of your paper. Determining the sequencing of these points, consider different orders, chronological, cost to effect, problem to solution, from most important to least important, from weakest to strongest, opt for the order that imparts strength and captivation to your paper. It is essential for your paper to encompass alternate or opposing viewpoints, showcasing comprehensive research and thorough contemplation of all perspectives. Within the con section, you will present and counter arguments against other views related to your topic. Evaluate the level of support available for each section. If you possess an abundance of supporting details like facts, examples, and expert opinions along with explanatory contents, multiple paragraphs may be necessary for that section. Some sections, particularly the most robust ones, may demand more than a single paragraph, while others might su suffice with just one. Segment your sections into smaller points. Express the essence of each potential paragraph as a sentence to assess whether it still aligns with the research question. This is the end of uh, this unit. Thank you for listening.